Today's podcast is brought to you in part by Sarsen Funds, real, clear crypto, and general provision. Your daily game plan for success. It's Sacks in the Morning, Steve Sacks. Hi, Steve Sachs here with Sacks in the Morning. Now, you've all heard me talk about how failure is just part of the sequence to success. And so I thought we'd focus on some stories of people overcoming setbacks in our shorts this week. I thought we'd start today by talking a little bit about the Winter Olympics, which just got underway last week. The Olympics are such a great time to watch athletes who embody dedication and perseverance and preparation. Just think when you watch how many times these athletes fall or get injured and get back up and try it again, all for the chance of glory once every four years. A perfect example of this is the U.S. figure skater Nathan Chen. Now, if you don't remember Nathan, he came into the Olympics in 2018 with very high hopes. During his first skate called the Short Program, Nathan fell on all of his biggest jumps, and in a matter of 60 seconds, his dreams of an Olympic medal were absolutely crushed. It's easy to imagine how devastated he must have been. He even considered not bothering to compete in his long routine and just going home with his tail between his legs. But he didn't. In fact, he went back on the ice, shook off the embarrassment, and absolutely dominated his final routine. In fact, he had the fifth highest score for a long routine in Olympic history. Now, he ended up in fifth place, but that bounce back from the failure led Nathan to win three world championships in a row, and now he is a heavy favorite coming into this year's Olympics. Now, in an interview, even Nathan himself said that there's no way of knowing where his success might have gone had he not been for the failure part. I can tell you there's lots of times where I've seen this in professional athletes, people at the highest level. I mean, you've heard about the things that Michael Jordan went through as a basketball player where he, he had the game in the palm of his hand as a member of the Chicago Bulls, and he'd shoot and the buzzer would go off, and they'd lose the game. Or the fact that you know he was cut by his high school basketball coach. Now, as a matter of fact, these two last examples of Michael Jordan were stories that he told me himself on the bus when I was with him in double-A ball as a member of the Chicago White Sox organization. I was down there on a rehab assignment for my foot, and it's amazing the things that Michael Jordan had talked about at the times where he had failed, and it had it not been for the failure part, who knows where he would have been or if he would have been this iconic. I think we can learn a lot from that and certainly from the first part of this short when you talk about what Nathan Chen had gone through. Sometimes the biggest climbs that we make are right after the biggest falls. So in essence, the failure part of being successful is extremely important. I talk about this in my speeches. As a matter of fact, it's critical. Don't shy away from the failure. If you don't experience running across a warning track and into the wall sometimes, how are you going to know where the fence really is? Experience the failure part and conquer it. And that's my short for today. If you like what you heard, give us a positive review, subscribe, and share. Also, don't forget to go to our website at saxinthemorning.com if you want to get into the swag store. Hit the shop button, and uh, believe me, it's all there for you. Hats, mugs, tumblers, v-necks, visors, you name it. Go take advantage of the swag store at saxinthemorning.com. Today's podcast was brought to you by General Provision and Sarsen Funds. Sarsen Funds, real, clear crypto. One of the more popular financial investments in the market today is cryptocurrency and blockchain. You've heard a lot about it. Bitcoin and others make the news on a regular basis. But it's a new currency and a new process that many of us don't really know or understand. And that's where Sarsen funds come in. They build your confidence with knowledge of the investment. They're a leading educator for financial advisors and consumers. I know. I personally have investments with Sarsen. They have a passion for cryptocurrency with a team that boasts a wealth of knowledge in the industry. More importantly, they have the resources to help us, you and me, learn about this new and exciting investment opportunity, like Cryptocurrency 101. It's yours by simply visiting the website and clicking on Education and Marketing. If you want to learn more, if you're looking to get a high-level Wall Street-grade understanding of cryptocurrency and blockchain, visit sarsenfunds.com. 
They've helped me understand why this is a great investment tool and to better understand what it's all about. Sarsen Funds. Real. Clear. Crypto. 